Danny South end on Tuesday, what's your thoughts ahead of the game? Uh, I think we need to we need to actually reward what has been some very good performances recently with, with some points. Um, in fact, I'm not even worried about whether the performance is any good. We've just got to put some points on the board and give these lads a little bit of breathing space because, to be honest with you, the efforts, especially the last two games, um, I think the efforts have been superb from the lads and some of the little bits of bad luck that have kind of gone against us a little bit, we've got to kind of take that on the chin and, and, and move forward. And I think from our perspective, they they know, the boys know we're, we, are, we are so close to just everything falling into place and that needs to be tomorrow night against Southend. I think that's the thing, isn't it? When you look back at the last few games, obviously it's not as if we've been outperformed throughout the majority of the game. You know, we've had our spells and everything and to lose the games we've had, especially recently, it's going to be the most frustrating thing for you. I think it's, it is tough because we, we, we've played five games, four of the five against the four teams in the top six and no, no one's battered us. No, no one's run all over us and, and had an easy win against us. Um, and actually, I'd argue in some of those games, if we'd have been a bit more clinical and, and a bit more decisive in what we're doing, we could have come out with, with, with more than what we've got. So it is frustrating. And look, I understand the fans' frustration. We've lost five games in a row. It doesn't look good. And I think that from our perspective, there's, there's, I can guarantee we're more frustrated than they are because we, we, we're working really hard to make sure we're set up right. And I think, especially the last two and two games, we've we've set up exactly how we wanted to. I mean, you look at the second goal, the goal that wins the game on Saturday. If that got played a thousand times again, that would never happen again. That our centre half wins a header cleanly and it bounces off the knee of one of our midfielders and puts their centre forward for on goal. And what I've said to the boys today is, unfortunately, when you are where we are, those things do go against you, so we can't control that. So forget about that. Let's, let's, let's prepare like those things are going to happen to us. Let's try, and, let's try and eradicate other mistakes that we can control. And listen, they, they understand that. And look, one thing that's for sure, regardless of, of win, lose or draw, the boys the boys are putting up a fight and they're 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 not gonna go down with with any kind of without any kind of resistance. They're rolling their sleeves up. The, the good meeting today, good good conversation, training will be good and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Sadly also saw the likes, you know, George, Mo, Wassel to get his first start all look back and build match fitness. How are they doing and how's Kev doing as well following the warm up and well, Kev Kev will not be available tomorrow. Um, obviously, that was a big blow losing him in the warm up. Um, but I, and I don't think people understand sometimes that what, when you've got a squad our size, we can't. We act, the only way we get our players fit is by playing them. Where two players play on Saturday that could only do a maximum of forty five minutes, and both of them, to be honest with you, were probably spent after thirty of those forty five. But that's where we are, and like we're not. We're not using it, using it as an excuse because that's the facts, but we don't seem to get any kind of understanding of that. That actually, do you know what? Like, if, has anyone actually looked at how many first actual first team players we've actually got compared to the rest of the league? And uh, the performances are, are getting there. And, and I genuinely, I genuinely think that as I, as, I, as I've maintained, we're not far away. And it might sound like I'm coming out with a little bit of a bit of an attitude with it but I am I'm coming out of a fighting attitude because you know what that some of these boys are getting stick they don't deserve aim it at me no problem that's fine but not the players the players are giving everything they've got and I think that from my perspective when the tide turns which I believe will be very very soon everyone will be looking back thinking do you know what maybe we were a bit harsh on them in the start because they they have they've deserved more than what they've got and as I said it's not about me it's not about Anne White it's not about Coops it's not about the staff it's not about the board it's about the players They've deserved more than they've got so far, and I genuinely think they're going to get. They're going to start to get what they deserve, and everyone will be looking back, thinking, "Wow, like it's a tough start, but you know what? Credit to the boys." Of course, Tuesday sees us play a recently relegated Southend United, a team that with the club's got a bit of history with. You know what you're expecting from them? Well, they This is a club that when I was growing up, they were on the brink of being in the top division of the, of the league. Plans for a forty thousand seat stadium to be built. Um, and it's quite sad, really, to see them where they are now because they've they've had such a rich history of, of, of league football. It's just another massive challenge for us. Like you're playing against a, a sleeping giant of, of, of some sorts, albeit a short period of time sleeping. But they are they're a, they're a massive club. But you know what? 
like we've looked, we've watched their footage just like we've watched everyone else's footage, and we're not we're not frightened of them. We'll go into the game expecting to go and get something from from the from the fixtures. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Stop.